This is Margo Poro for the BC Learning Network talking to you about patterns and relations. Can you determine the pattern rule to make predictions about terms in a repeating pattern? These patterns will be different than the increasing and decreasing patterns we looked at in the last lesson. What is the next term in this pattern? First, we need to look at the gap between the numbers to figure out what's happening. They could be using a combination of addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. Let's take a look. The gap between 10 and 7 could be take away 3. 7 plus 4 equals 11. 11 take away 3 makes 8. 8 plus 4 makes 12. We are beginning to see a pattern. It looks like we're on the right track. 12 take away 3 equals 9. So the pattern rule is to start at 10 and alternately subtract 3, then add 4. When you alternate between things, you go back and forth between them. This is going to be a key word for repeating patterns. Now we can continue to find the next term in this pattern. The last step we did was minus 3, so this time we're going to need to add 4 to get 13. What is the next term in this pattern? Let's take a look. I'm going to start with adding and subtracting, and if that doesn't work, we can move on to the other operations. So 1 plus 6 equals 7, 7 minus 5 equals 2, the gap between 2 and 8 is 6, and it's increasing, so it's plus. 8 to 3 is going down, minus 5, and you can see we have a clear pattern emerging. 3 plus 6 makes 9. So our pattern rule is to start at 1 and alternately add 6, then subtract 5. There's that keyword, alternately. We can see that the last step we did was add 6, so the next step is going to be take away 5 for the missing term of 4. What is the next term in this pattern? Let's take a look at the gap between the numbers. So from 1 to 4 we go up by 3, then we go down by 2. We go up by 6 from 2 to 8. From 8 to 4 we go down by 4. We go up by 12. Uh-oh. This is looking complicated. Let's look at this pattern in a different way. Maybe we are trying the wrong operations. Let's look at multiplication. 1 to 4 is times 4. From 4 to 2 we're going down, so maybe it's division. From 2 to 8 we're going up. 2 times 4 equals 8. From 8 to 4 we're going down. 8 divided by 2 equals 4 and we have a clear pattern emerging. So our next one should be times 4. Does 4 times 4 make 16? It does. Excellent. So we have a clear pattern rule to start at 1 and alternately multiply by 4 and divide by 2. The last step we did was multiply by 4, so the next step is going to be divide by 2. And 16 divided by 2 makes 8. Can you determine the pattern rule to make predictions about terms in a pa repeating pattern? You can see that some of the patterns get quite complex, but if you work your way through in a logical, step-by-step -step manner, you will be able to do this.